Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win. You know like what's good, YouTube? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you, right? Now listen, before we get too far in the video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like and let's get this video to at least 1,500 likes, all right? That would definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in the 2K community. And hopefully you appreciate that 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. upload every single day. And you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, right? <clears throat> now, let's get straight into this video. So today, we're going to revisit the 3 and D off ball, um, um, off gone ball. Am I saying that right? <laughs> the 3 and D off ball, I mean off guard build. Why keep saying off ball, man? Like, what's wrong with me today? All right, <laughs> the off guard build, <clears throat> it is going to be a little bit different than the video that I dropped previously. So um, it will be 6'6", but this time it will be 200 pounds instead of 205. The wingspan will still be maxed out and body type is still the same, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do um, driving layup and driving dunk at 85, just like the previous video. And I'm also going to, but this time I'm going to max out the standing dunk and I'm going to max out the post control for 11 instead of eight okay then we're gonna go 82 on the mid-range shot we're gonna go 87 on the three-point shot and then we're gonna max out all the way to 93 on the um free throw so instead of having 16 we'll now have 17 okay then this is gonna be one of the big changes here you know how important it is now on pass accuracy you have to be able to pass the ball well so i wanted to go ahead and get that 79 pass accuracy the ball handling will be the same and we'll also with speed out i'm at this time max all the way out the speed with ball for 87 so we'll have 12 instead of five and then what we're going to do to compensate for this pass accuracy if you do not know pass accuracy takes up so much over your overall so 2k decided that pass accuracy is that important that it really does dictate a lot with your overall and that's why pass accuracy free throw and close shot are such they're so hard to try to want to max out stuff because it takes up so much over overall rating but I see how 2K did that, and that really be for another video, but I want to get too in depth in it, but that's the reason why, you know, you have to compensate. So this time, instead of having interior defense, we're skipping it. We're going to max out the perimeter. We're skipping steal, and then we're going to max out the block, the offensive, defensive rebound, okay? So you have 20. So again, my nephews and nieces, these two builds, the revisited ver version that you're looking at right now and the original version, both of them are still good. It's just about how you want your build to be. As you know, the original three um, and D off guard build, it basically has most of all of the, the interior, the perimeter still in block is all maxed out. In this instance, the perimeter block office of defensive rebounds maxed out, still in interior defense are not even touched. Okay, so it's really, again, based upon preference and what you're looking for in your build. This build will have more playmaking, better passing, whereas the previous build doesn't have much. It's almost like the previous 3D off guard build is basically like a true green and red pie chart. Matt, you know, like shooting and defense and that's it. You know, it can dribble, but it's just not, it doesn't have the pass accuracy and doesn't have as many finishing. So again, it's all about your preference. You do want to max out your speed, your acceleration with this. Um, you also want to go, of course, 60 on the vert and just 60 on your um, stamina. And in that remaining bit, go on your strength for 37. So you're looking at 11, 17, 12, and 20. Again, a completely different from the 8, 16, 5, 28. So it's all about what you're looking for and balance. And I said the biggest differences you're going to get between the two is that the revisited version has pass accuracy, no interior defense, no steal. Whereas the original version has no pass accuracy at all, only five playmaking badges, but it has more defense. So it's whatever you want and you prefer as a build, all right? You do get a plus four to everything though. So let's talk about that. You'll get an 89 driving layup and driving dunk. 
Unfortunately, you're not able to hit that 90 because it does change the name. 74 standing dunk, a good 80 post control, 86 three point shot, a 91 three ball. As we all know, having an 85 or higher on your, your shooting gives you an automatic green window. So by having the 85 on both of these, if you time your shot properly, you will get a green, okay? Then also here you have an 83 pass accuracy and 83 ball handle. So you're able to get the elite dribble animations, but you also have more playmaking on badge points to where you can be able to get more badges. And we'll talk about that when we get there. A 91 speed with ball is really, really good also. The 99 perimeter defense also correlates to a nine. Well, I wanna say correlate, yeah, because it's complete relation to um, your lateral quickness. So you will have 99 lateral quickness and 99 perimeter defense with this build. You'll get a ridiculous 85 block, 89 offensive rebound, and an astonishing 96 defensive rebound. Okay, so again, some really, really, really good attributes here. You have a 92 speed, and you also have 90 acceleration. And then we all know about the stamina. The only thing you need is a 60. If you don't believe me, just check out my video on the power of 60, but we can go from there, right? Or 60 stamina, I'm sorry. And then here again, you have choices. You can go like there, and you have glass skin here, but you can go with like um, extreme clamps and then limitless range, or you can go um, perimeter badge drop and spot up, right? Or you can go completely extreme clamps and perimeter badge drop, right? Um, and um, enhanced jump shot contest is another good one, right? You can play around with that and, and figure out which one you like and which one you don't like. Um, the slashing, you can use slashing also. Like I said, this build gets contact dunks. We all know about current gen, I mean, next gen and the demigod builds. Um, me personally, I would probably go with, um, where you at? Um, uh, perimeter badge drop, and then I would go with limitless range threes. But then here you have it, my nephews and nieces, you have the three and D off guard build revisited, all right? Um, real quickly, I'll just go ahead and test out the build, go over the badges, and then of course, you know, I'm gonna get you out of here. So let's go here, all right? Um, all right, so then what you wanna do here, of course, is you wanna go posterizer, acrobat, let me see, you wanna go fearless finisher, um, slithery finisher, so we go rise up here, so we'll probably go here and get some silver here, and this is what we'll go with. Um, if you wanna see my finishing badge video, you should check it out and see what's the most important badge to have. Uh, catch and shoot, deep drum, deep threes, hot zone hunter, really good. Blinders, dead eye, really, really good badges here. The last three, what I would go with, would either be rhythm shooter or stop and pop, just because you do have the ability to be um, a ball handler, so why not do that also here, okay? And then, of course, now you have playmaking, so you wanna go handles for days, you wanna go quick first step, you wanna go with that bullet passer, and then from here, I will go bail out and a little bit unpluckable. You could be the primary ball handler, but still stick with being the lockdown. Um, and then of course here, the main ones you wanna go with, of course, are gonna be clamps, intimidator, and rim protector. These are the most important ones. And then after that, sprinkle in some other things, pogo stick, um, let me see. Oh, if you wanna play on ball, of course, you wanna go pick dodger and then ankle braces, all right? Something like this would be perfect. Okay. Oh, well, let's go, let's go stay with here and go rebound chaser. And now also we need chase now. Bunk that. Let's go like that. All right, there we go. All right. But anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the 3 and D off guard build revisited. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with a banger, man. You know, when I said back soon with a banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. If you come for a low, we gon' get to him. Take the stop off the top of no transformer. Man, we're ducking and dodging on the corner. Doing flip with a breed like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go help.